here Monday morning, March 26th, North Fork Road. Had a snowstorm last Thursday and there's still a little bit left up here. Let's see what it's like up at, up at the claim. Probably about 10 more miles to go. Looks like somebody's been down the road. Now we're on the road down to the claim. I don't know if somebody's camping down here or what. Here we are. On the camping spot, nobody's here. Now I'll get my gear ready and take a hike down to the river. Here at the claim now, getting ready to go down to the river. You can see we've still got about about that much snow on the ground. There's a truck there. And the trail is right there, next to that tree. It's about a third of a mile down to the river. Got my equipment here. Now the plan is to haul it all down in one trip, but I'll see how that works out. See if I can carry it all. Here at the claim, Monday, March 26th. The river is actually pretty low. I'm really happy with with how it's looking today. I'm pretty optimistic about getting some good gold. I'll go ahead and show you around the claim. Looking upstream here, there's two giant boulders in the stream there. We're kind of on a little bit of an inside bend right here. There's plenty of gravel to dig on here because got these nice rocks, all kinds of bedrock around here. There's the bedrock going into the stream right there.
Here's my equipment. Managed to get it all down in one trip. And something I'm really excited about is right here, this big boulder. You might be able to dig under there. I'll put my waders on. And then as you look upstream, it goes into a canyon there. There's the trail that goes up. So I'm going to sample around for a couple hours maybe, find a good spot, and then start digging. Hopefully get some good gold. Alright, I'm starting my sampling. I've done three holes so far. One was just right in the middle of the gravel bar here. I filled it back in. That one I got one little speck, so I can't really... I couldn't even call it a flake. It was just a little tiny piece. Then right here... There's a little lip of bedrock right here, and it slopes down. Found nothing there. And then right here, you see this spot? There's kind of a tree, an old tree root there. Goes up there to the bedrock. And then right there, you can see that's about eight inches deep. I found two flakes. Kind of a glare right there. Let's see. Well, that's not working too good. Well, there's two little flakes in there. I mean, it's not bad for just being right off the surface, so I might look into that spot. Well, I'll just sample all the way down this bar and see if I can find anything better. All right, finished up my sampling. My equipment's right there, and I'll set up my sluice box right over there. In this little spot, I found three colors, two medium-sized flakes, and then one a little speck. And then right there, I already filled that one back in. Nothing. Then right here, there's a nice boulder right there. And down in my sample hole, didn't get anything right there. And then that one right back there is the one that I got two nice flakes in. And then I didn't find anything right there in line with that last one. And then right there I found one little speck. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll probably go deep in this spot right here. And if that runs out, I'll go back down to where I found the three pieces down there closer to where my sluice will be. And I'll probably do some crevicing as well up in this bedrock. So there's plenty of gold in there. But, let's see what I can do. Up here running the sluice now, on my second bucket of material. Well, it's probably about 9 or 10 o'clock. Haven't seen any gold so far, but I haven't been re really looking on my black mat or anything. But got the sluice running good. Do a clean out when I take a break for lunch.
Had to build a little dam though to get enough water. So that goes up there. And then you can see a little some of those mountains in the background. Turned out to be a really nice day actually. I thought it was supposed to be rainy, but nice blue skies. Just a few clouds. And look downstream. That's where the canyon starts. I'm just digging right up there, maybe 25 yards up the bank. My hole's about a foot below water level now, so I'm probably getting pretty close to bedrock. So it couldn't be more than two feet lower at the most. Well, I'll finish running this bucket, and then I'll go back to the hole and get a quick shot of it. I'll probably run a couple more buckets before I take a break. Alright, here I am back at the hole. See there's a little bit of water in the bottom of it there. And then there's my tailings. There's a couple nice sized rocks in there, like this one right here. I'm probably weighed a good 50 pounds. Had to use the pry bar to get that one out. But I'll probably take this hole down to bedrock. I don't know if I'll expand it or what. Might move down to that other spot I found. But started seeing some gold on the black mat, so that's a good sign. I'll get back to work and see what I can find. Back to running the sluice. I think I've probably done about four buckets. I think three almost full buckets and several that were had just a little bit in them. Found about, or I've seen like. I don't know, there's probably a dozen pieces of gold on the black mat right now. You can't see them with the camera, but... They're in there, they aren't real big. But at least I know I'm finding some. So I'll probably take a break after I'm done running this bucket, and then... have a little bit of lunch, and then get back at it. Still got plenty of dirt in that hole left to dig. Probably another couple hours worth. And then I'll probably do some bedrock cracks. And then I might dig in that other spot that I found a few specks in. Well, I'll finish running this and then do a clean out and see what I've got. Alright, got the sluice out of the water, and I was looking in the black mat, and it is just full of gold. I don't think it'll be visible here, but... Uh, I don't know. I picked out a few pieces are right there at my finger. It's out of focus, though. But, that's a good sign. So I'll go ahead and clean this up. I'm gonna go have some lunch. Just finished my cleanup. You can see some gold in there. Not a whole lot, but you can see flakes all over in there. Real hard to see them, but on the camera, but um. And there's a few that I got out of the rubber matting that I, I didn't see them in there a little bit. That I picked out with tweezers. But, that's what I got. Not a whole lot, but more than nothing. Well, I just got back from eating. I'm kind of disappointed with what I ended up with out of this hole. 
probably only got about a half grain out of it. So I think with the couple hours I have left, I'll just go ahead and do bedrock, bedrock cracks, and you just stop with this hole. So I'll just toss my tailings back in here. I might take another bucket out of this. Well, I don't know. Well, I'll just toss my tailings back in and move on to another place. Well, that's all the tailings accumulated so far. I pulled this rock out. And then this one. This one was real heavy. That one was probably 80 pounds easy. But, that's what's going on. I just found a little tree on the side of the bank with its root ball and a whole bunch of moss on it. So I cleaned that off and ran through the sluice. I don't know if I'll get anything out of it. But, let's finish up this hole and move on. Well, I'm running the last bucket of dirt. This stuff's all from grassroots, um, moss, bedrock cracks. Quite a bit of black sand in it. Probably a lot of fine gold. Tailings pile's getting pretty big. Plus the tailings that I've produced. Well, I'll finish running this bucket, then I'm gonna pack up and head out. Well, I'm ready to do the final clean out. There was some visible gold in the mat again. It's real hard to see on the camera, but there's a flake there. A nice flake there. My fingertips all fuzzy, it's out of focus, but then there's another one there. So there's gold in here. Um, I really don't know what to expect because I was pretty disappointed with the last one. But, I don't know. I'll clean it out and see what I come up with. Well, I just did the final clean up. I'm just about ready to pack up and pack back to the truck. I doubt this will get in focus or not, but I'm going to bring it in a little bit. Some of the bigger stuff that I... Yeah, that's not working. Well, some of the bigger stuff I picked out, I know you can't see it, but uh, I'll get pictures of it. There's also a piece of lead in there, right in the middle of the screen. But that last clean out was much better than the first one. I got some chunky gold. I think mostly in part, so I dug right here. It was right on the surface, so I mean, if I went deeper, I think I'd find some good stuff. So that'll probably be my plan next time. Just go deeper with it. Um, other than that, I just dug some roots and some bedrock. I never did do anything in that sample hole.
but I dug right there, and I didn't get the bedrock clean at all. I just kind of scraped it up because I was in a hurry. Don't know what time it is. So I'm trying to get back home. And there's a hole that I forgot to fill in. Also forgot to fill in those ones, but there's where the big hole was. Hardly tell I was there. And that one last big rock that I didn't toss in the hole. But right there, I was going to wade out to that giant boulder. There's about a 12 foot deep channel in between those two rocks. There's no way I was getting out there to pull moss. But, overall it was a pretty nice day. It's nice and sunny at the start. Got decent gold. I think I might come away with a grain and a half. I was really hoping for five. I would have been okay with two and a half, but learn something for next time at least. And there's where my sluice was. Kind of made a little bit of a dam there. And it was just sitting right here. And my huge tailing pile with its <laughs> there's black sand exposed on the top of it from all that all those roots I ran through there and the moss. All that black stuff is just streaks of black sand on the surface. And I know I probably lost a tiny bit of flower gold. I found three little specks on the last ripple, so I lost maybe five percent of it, but I'm fine with that. Pretty happy with how the sluice worked. It's the first time out with it. An old Keen A52. Under the first ripple I had deep deep V rubber mat. And then I had miner's moss. And then the last riffle down there was carpet, because to get the clamps to pinch down I had to do shorter stuff at the top and at the bottom. So it worked pretty good though. I'm going to head back out, and I'll get some pictures of my final clean-out. Have a good day.